Jamie can't stay a few more weeks. It'd be nice to spend my last few days in the sun. Do we have to talk about it, Nana? Sorry, son. I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, they're still engaged. Right, I need to stretch my legs. Who wants a drink? Keep ringing him. Say him again, everyone. Lovely. The doctor might have made a mistake, Nana. Oh, I don't think so, son. They're very clever men. I've had a good life. I've no complaints. Hello? Uh, this is her husband, Mick Garvey. Yes, she has been ringing you, but you've been engaged. You've been trying to call us back and we've been engaged. Right, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm free to speak now. Thank you. They're putting me through to the doctor. Do you want to speak to him? Hello, Dr Kundu? Mick Garvey. Yeah, um, thanks for ringing back. My wife is just wanting to speak to you. It sounds lovely, but I don't think I will today. Thank you. Facial, massage, hot steam, maybe a body wrap. No. You should take a little bit more care of yourself. I'm sorry? This isn't pampering, it's maintenance. People see facials and massage as a luxury, but they need to be part of every woman's weekly routine. I'm a beauty therapist. Yeah, you've said. Yeah, you go, pet, that's your drinks. Thanks, love. Hey, Cyril's looking for you. Aren't you supposed to be going up the old town with him? Hostia! Let me know if you change your mind. I would love to get my hands on your tea zone. I bet you would. Sure, you're a beauty therapist. That's right. Oh, I've often thought I should try and break into the beauty industry. Yeah, well, I recommend you do it at night, when nobody can see you. Has he got through? They rang us. All right, Mikey. Don't fancy walk to the beach, do you? I don't think he will, love. Not today. Oh, OK. Sorry to bother you. Right, thanks very much. Thank you, Doctor. Madge, what can you remember about the conversation with Dr Kundu when he told you you had six months to live? What do you mean? I mean, can you remember anything unusual about the manner in which he gave you this devastating news? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, let's put it this way. If a doctor was telling me I had six months to live, I assume he'd be diplomatic, well-mannered, friendly, even. Oh, no. He was an absolute bastard, shouting and screaming at me. He couldn't get me out of his office soon enough. And you've no idea why? I've stopped trying to understand people like that a long time ago. <laughs> well, I've just spoken to Dr Kundu, and even though it was over five months ago, he had no trouble remembering when you went to see him. Mick. Get to the point. The point is, your mother has been banned from seeing every doctor in the health centre for various reasons, ranging from racism to threatening behaviour. I'm not a racialist. I've got everything Winifred Atwell ever recorded. Dr Kundu was the only one who'd see you. And when he found out you'd written to the Manchester Evening News because you suspected he had a drink problem, he banned you from the health centre. Yes. And after all that, he then told me I had six months to live. He even said he wished I'd be dead sooner. He told you you had six months to leave. When people are banned from the health centre, they're given time to find another doctor. And he said he wished he could get rid of you sooner, but he had to give you six months to leave. Six months to leave? Not six months to live? Yes. Well, how am I supposed to understand him with that bloody accent? I'm off to the beach. Take your phone. Mother, did you not think to ask for a few more details? He's not a real doctor. His wife used to be married to a vicar. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> so, I've been sitting here, not smoking, keeping out of the sun, because my doctor can hardly string a sentence together. Oh, they should all be put up against the wall and shot. Where are you off to now? To get some bloody things. Oh, I don't believe it. Well, one good thing has come out of all this. What's that? Out of the way. Move. Magic's back. <laughs>